What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel and today I'll be doing my long awaited Uncharted 4 A Thief's End review. I've been playing this game for the last few days. I beat it last night and I wanted to give you guys a reflection of my experience with this PlayStation 4 exclusive. So sit back, relax, grab a cool drink and I hope you enjoy this review. Naughty Dog, one of Sony's top developers for the PlayStation brand, has had a long history of astounding AAA PlayStation exclusives. The developer is mostly known for its incredible track record of astounding games including Crash Bandicoot, Jack and Daxter, and The Last of Us, but perhaps best known for its Uncharted franchise, one of Sony's most influential PlayStation game series. Naughty Dog consistently raises the bar with each installment of the Uncharted series, and with the stellar history of the series, some felt that it was impossible to trump the previous games. After Naughty Dog suffered major losses of talent like Amy Hennig, creative director and writer of the original Uncharted, and art director Nate Wells, many gamers doubted the ability of the studio to continue the series with the same degree of polish, story, and overall feel that the series has been known for. With the departures of such integral members of the development staff, Neil Druckmann, creative director and writer of The Last of Us, and Bruce Straley, co-director of The Last of Us, took the reins of Uncharted 4 and began the task of rewriting the game. Were they able to accomplish a game on par with the well-received Uncharted 2 and 3 games? In a word, yes. And with that, let's delve into my spoiler-free review of Uncharted 4 A Thief's End on PlayStation 4. As always, this review will cover story, Gameplay, Graphics, and Sound Story The story of Uncharted 4 isn't just a story. It feels more like a series of stories seamlessly woven together in a way that's not only engaging but interesting, informative, and enjoyable. The story follows four main story arcs, and while I will not spoil them for those who unfortunately haven't had the absolute pleasure of playing it, I will say that trust, lies, truth, and greed play major parts in the story. You once again take the role of Nathan Drake, a treasure hunter with a past he's actively leaving behind. Now, years after the events of Uncharted 3, Nathan has settled down and is actively trying to live a more secure lifestyle by holding down a real job and being in a more traditional home life. Through a series of playable sections which are cutscene quality, we're introduced to Nathan's older brother Sam, who is exactly what you'd expect from a sibling of Nathan's. He's fast, sneaky, loves parkour, and has a penchant for rarities just like Nathan. The relationship of these brothers is fleshed out in the first few hours of the game giving real meaning and weight to their relationship and their bond as brothers. You will very soon feel the connection to Sam that Nathan feels and this is a testament to the incredible writing of the Naughty Dog team. In the present, Nathan is reunited with Sam and through a series of incidents, Nathan's final adventure begins. As I will not spoil any of the plot points, I will just say that the story, characters, and antagonists are incredibly fleshed out and believable. During my 17 hour playthrough, I visited islands, excavated caves, ran around in the jungles of Madagascar, and hung out in the beautiful vistas of Italy. Each location brought me closer to Nathan's goal and gave my quest real weight. The main characters from the series are all here too. The likes of Sully and Elena are featured heavily in the story as well, and the parts they play are imperative to Nathan's success. The relationships that Nathan has formed over the years with these characters shine through in Uncharted 4. The banter that these characters shoot back and forth is reminiscent of a family conversation. A real family, like mine or like yours. Nothing ever seems forced, and the conversations happen organically between the characters. It's obvious that the techniques Naughty Dog learned creating The Last of Us didn't go to waste in this game. Would you look at that? A secret cave behind a waterfall. Gentlemen, we are on a pirate adventure. What are you, seven? The game's antagonists are Rafe and Nadine, two very believable enemies, and while I won't spoil their motives, I will just say that they are very capable enemies, and I never felt like I had the upper hand on them. These guys are tough as nails, and they will kill in a heartbeat. Oh, son of a... Have you had enough? Or do you want to keep being a smartass? You know, you're breaking a lot of expensive stuff in here. If you're not careful, they're gonna kick us out of here. If you like narrative-driven games, and there's not much more I can say other than the story in Uncharted 4 is truly an amazing story. It's a branching story that somehow blends together seamlessly, and as a gamer, I couldn't have asked for more. Gameplay 
The gameplay is familiar and different to Uncharted, and if you're a veteran of the series, you will feel totally at home with Uncharted 4. The game features plenty of platforming, far more than any other game in the series. This isn't a bad thing either, because this game is the longest Uncharted game in the series. The platforming does feel extremely solid, and the controls are tight, which gave me greater confidence in my movements. The Uncharted series is also known for its gunplay as well, and over the first three games we've seen the gunplay improve, but in Uncharted 4 the gunplay controls feel definitely better than it's ever been in the series. The floaty feel of some of the earlier games is no more. Now the controls have been tweaked and revamped to better reflect the command of the gamer. Never have I had so much fun in an Uncharted game popping baddies in the face. Uncharted 4 also packs a few new tricks that help make Uncharted feel like a new experience. The grappling hook that you get is a natural fit in the universe, and it kind of makes me sad that it wasn't introduced in earlier installments. The grappling hook allows Drake to reach high areas, rappel down, and land on enemies who are unfortunately used as floor mats. Another new ability is a slide which allows Drake to slide down slippery hills to reach otherwise unreachable areas. This feature is more of a cosmetic thing than anything else and just makes Nathan look cool reaching his destination. The melee in Uncharted 4 has also been overhauled and now allows Nathan to use the environments to dispatch his foes. Slamming heads into walls, kicking guys off cliffs, and choking enemies has never felt so good in an Uncharted game. This game also adds a stealth mechanic which allows Nathan to hide in tall grass, waiting for nearby enemies to get close enough to silently grab them and take them out before anyone else is alerted. Uncharted 4 also introduces driving and a winch system as well. The Jeep Nathan and others drive controls amazingly, and also these driving sections really fool the gamer. After driving for a while, I was sure this game had dropped its linear aspects and was going more open world. And while it seemed like it was at the time, the game is actually still linear. But the driving sections are just so open that you don't think it is. The Jeep plays major roles in the game, and the chase section that pits you against a heavily armored vehicle is a heart-pounding section and it kept me on the edge of my seat. There are just too many things to love about Uncharted 4's gameplay. The biggest and quite possibly the best change in Uncharted 4 are its graphics. The game is presented in full 1080p running at 30 frames per second, and while I don't have all day to gloat at the masterwork of graphics accomplishments, I will say that the game is simply the most gorgeous game that I have ever seen. Period guys, there is no game out there that I've ever played that looks as good as Uncharted 4, and honestly I'm not surprised. After all, this is the same studio that got The Last of Us out of the cell processor of the PlayStation 3. These guys are extremely talented and obviously know how to maximize their efforts on the graphics front. There are literally a thousand little things at play here that make Uncharted 4 untouchable by its so-called competitors. The character models are by far the most realistic I've ever seen. Everything from the hair follicles on them, to the blemishes on their skin, to the most realistic hair I've ever seen in a video game. It's truly astounding. The mud on the ground is dynamic, so if you slide through dirt it will be on your body until you wash it off by getting in water. Water makes Nathan's hair slick down and his clothes are visibly soaked until they dry. These little additions sent the visuals over the line to me and almost into an unreal level of graphical detail. The fact that these cutscenes are all done in-engine means that these scenes actually use the actual in-game models and they are not pre-rendered and it's a true testament to the artistry that exists at Naughty Dog. The environments are alive, every blade of grass moves, the bushes and trees sway with the wind, the environments react to whatever happens inside of them, so if you throw a grenade into the bushes, all the grass and the bush will blow away from the explosion making for an uber realistic experience. The underwater portions of the game look astounding as well, and as you run out of air the image begins to blur in a way that's so realistic that I felt like I was really holding my breath. The lighting effects are some of the best I've ever seen in a video game, and the reflections are amazing and funny when you see what characters do when they stand in front of a mirror. The character models are real, that's the best way I can describe it. Their eyes, man. The eyes, they look like real breathing people. I found myself just staring at these character models for a long time and feeling like they were somehow alive. The environments are destructible and are destroyed in amazingly real ways depending on what type of weapon enemies are using against you. In Italy you walk through a crowd of people and while it was shown in early demos of the game, actually being there and experiencing it firsthand is a true testament to Naughty Dog and the type of breathing living worlds that they create. Honestly, 
I have never been so amazed at any game's graphics the way that I have been with Uncharted 4. If you have a PlayStation 4, you owe it to yourself to play this game. Uncharted is known for its amazingly huge set pieces and Part 4 does not disappoint. There are plenty of sections in this game that caught me off guard and looked truly stunning at the same time. Sound Naughty Dog has a long history with some of the industry's most acclaimed voice actors, including Nolan North and The Last of Us' Troy Baker. The work done in this game is definitely some of their best work. The acting is so flawless and is never forced. One of the arms. Or... Give it a shot. <coughs> Come on. Boys. I guess when you know who you're working with as well as the cast here, you feel at home with them inside the sound booth and it's obvious in Uncharted 4 that was the case. The amazing score is composed by Henry Jackman and the game features dynamic sound which was broken down into sections under supervision of Neil Druckmann. Therefore the music actually reacts dynamically to what the player is doing and I honestly love the soundtrack. It was grand and truly complements the epic story, gameplay and amazing set pieces. Final Thoughts Naughty Dog, against all odds, set out to not only craft a compelling and entertaining end to the story of Nathan Drake without the original writer, director, or art director. They actually set out to trump every other Uncharted game in the saga, and not only did Naughty Dog achieve everything that they set out to do, they surpassed every expectation that I had as a gamer, and cemented Uncharted 4 as the pivotal Uncharted experience and surely the absolute best in the series. The only sad thing about my experience with Uncharted 4 is the realization that Naughty Dog alone seems to be the developer that has the uncanny ability to harness the true potential of the console on which they focus on. There are other competent developers out there with just as many years of experience under their belts, but none have the track record of crafting games that are summed up as truly limit-shattering experiences. This game sets a new standard by which all game developers should strive for and actually seeing this game in action should let these developers know that greatness on this level is truly possible on the PlayStation 4. This game was an absolute pleasure to play, and while it was the longest campaign I played in any Uncharted game, not one moment felt stretched out or forced. Naughty Dog deserves every ounce of praise that they get for an accomplishment as grand as Uncharted 4. The graphics are better than any game in the genre and quite possibly the best I've ever seen in my life. The characters are so relatable and realistic that you feel like they are real people that you soon develop bonds with and strong feelings against. The way the longtime Uncharted characters are handled is very respectful and tasteful. The relationships that have been cultivated feel grounded and truly finished by the time the credits roll. The saga of Nathan Drake comes to an end in grand fashion, and while the ending may split hairs, I feel that this is the perfect end to his story, and I couldn't be happier. The performances by the game's lead, Nolan North, is astounding, and the amazing voices that seem to be ever-changing from Troy Baker always catch me off guard. These two guys are the gold standard for other voice actors, and their pedigree is obvious when you play a game like Uncharted 4. The stories are amazing, and the way that they are so intricately interwoven is truly stunning. Neil Druckmann is extremely talented to have taken someone else's world, someone else's vision, tweaked it and somehow made it his own seamlessly. Uncharted 4 is a marvel, a masterpiece, and so much more than any poor soul can convey in a simple written review. Uncharted, quite simply, is heads and shoulders above its contemporaries in literally every way. Uncharted 4 is simply the reason that we are gamers. Uncharted 4 is the best game on PlayStation 4 and quite possibly the best game of the decade. If you own a PS4 and have not bought this game, drop whatever it is you're doing unless you're changing a diaper and go out and buy this game. It is simply a must own and a shining achievement by some of the greatest developers in the world. Buy this game today. I'd like to thank everyone for watching my Uncharted 4 Thief's End PlayStation 4 review. If you agree with the review, leave your thoughts below. If you disagree with the review, please leave your thoughts below and let me know your thoughts on your experience with Uncharted 4. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. 
Okay, watch and learn. Oh, I'm learning, all right. Is this it? No, it has to load. Load? Yes. This is taking a really long time. You have no patience. When you turn something on, you expect it to... Take off.